Galadima actually sent a very very shocking warning to President Bola Metinabu reviews how Kano State, which is um, is in North Sam, I think in North Side, which is comprising of the mostly the Hausa people, have reviewed how they are going to destroy President Bola Ahmed presidency because it was believed that most of uh, um, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's vote came from that side, according to research and what they say. But many people still believe that he actually, you know, find himself pushed himself. He, he, he actually read, you know, according to what even Aisha Yusuf said recently, he said Tinubu read the election, and it seems to be clear to us. But Dinek, um, chairman, has decided who. He, he wants to give the vote the, the winner to so we we'll have to bear that in mind. So he, he, he um sent a shocking warning to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu revealing how Kano on um, politics will destroy his presidency if he is not careful. So hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. If this is your first time watching the video on this beautiful channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also do me a favor in turning on the notification bell icon. So whenever I put down a new video on this channel, you watching this video will be among the first stop to get the notification. So I am the scenario to for several updates. And what I do in this channel is whenever I find a vital information concerning celebrity and politics updates, I bring them down for you guys here so that we can share our opinion among one another. So chief town of the new Nigerian people party, which is the NNPD, Buba Galadima. As one president Bola Ahmed who against interfering with the politics of Kano State. According to reports, Galadima made this known during an interview with Arise News on Monday night. Galadima said Tinubu should should be careful and be mindful of the Kano politics because it might destroy his presidency. According to him, some powerful politicians and rich men in Kano meet with President Bola Metibu to intervene in the legal tissue between the Kano government and Abba Yusuf and all Progressive Congress governorship candidates in the last election, Nasiru, Nasiru Gawuna said. Galadima added that if Boko Haram can hold Nigeria ransom in the last 13 to 14 years, Tinubu will not be able to withstand the issues that will come from Kano if he interferes in the state policies. He said, I want to tell the federal government, including my friend President Bola Metinbu, that he should be mindful of Kano politics. It will destroy his presidency. They never agree on any issues and I have an inherent knowledge of how we deal with this issue of Kano policy during the NPN when I was the youth leader. I know some very powerful politician in Kano, including some rich men who come to meet the president that they should remove Abba Yusuf and nothing will happen. And the man I know should be smarter than what he is by telling that fine nothing will happen and ask them that how did it happen that you didn't win election in the first place. If Boko Haram can hold Nigerian national to ransom for the last 13 to 14 years, they should be careful with Kano. We have come to age in Kano and I am not treating anyone. This is all I can say. This is what um, Galadima, the wording he gave to Bala Metinobu. But if you take a look at all what they are saying here, you notice that it's like they want to cause violence. It sounds like a threat and it sounds unprofessional. That's how I see it. Because, you know, if you take a look, Kano and Castina, I think something like that, are having much more population in Nigeria. Yes. So, once they feel that they want to tarnish the image of a certain president, it's easy for them to do it. They will just go ahead and start, I don't know how to put it, cutting up all these terrorist Boko Haram issues. And you think maybe that particular president is not working. I don't like the way they did to Good Luck Jonathan. But one thing I love for Good Luck Jonathan, he knows that it's a planned work. He didn't bother to fight again. He left the seat peacefully for uh, Muhammad Buhari to come in. You understand? He didn't start struggling to buy votes, struggling to enter here. No, before they even counted vote finish or even said everything, he has passed his load and vacated the office. So, this man is trying to warn President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, according to her, to say that he should stay away or be mindful of Kano State's politics. You understand? 
He should be mindful of cannot state politics that it will destroy his presidency if he's not careful. So, how do you see something like this? I want you to go to the comment section and share your opinion. How you see statements coming from politicians, politicians, just like what just happened now. And how do you think a statement like this is going to help a citizen of the country or a particular state? So, your opinion in the comment section. See you in my next video.